A I T A for saying I'll be driving myself and paying my, for my own loan on the upcoming family vacation, so I won't have to be a babysitter. I am 23 years old male and was repeatedly stuck playing the part of a helper and babysitter on family outings. I had to move out of my parents' house because I kept being forced to have watched my three nephews. Last year, we took a family vacation on summer to the coast. I rode along with my parents and they paid for my hotel room. Only I had to share that room with three rowdy boys because my sister and her husband wanted a room for themselves. I was promised time to do my own things on the vacation, but instead I ended up having help with the kids. I, com I complained to everyone about it and was reminded I was there for free. And then we pretty much just did only one thing I wanted to do, which was tour an art gallery. I like doing this whenever I'm at the coast, but the kids find it boring. This year, my parents have a beach trip planned for June, and they assumed I'd be riding along the same way as last year, but I refused. I said I would be driving myself and paying for my own hotel stay to have my own room. My parents were shocked and tried to remind me of the cost. I said it was no worry, I have got a good job and a decent running car, I can more than afford it. That is when the buts started. I stated the previously listed thing as why I'll be driving myself and paying for myself. I want to be able to enjoy this vacation as an adult and not treat it like a child like last year. My parents told my sister and she called to blow up at me that I'll be ruining the vacation if I'm off doing my own thing while she has to wrangle her three boys. I ended up yelling at her that last year all she did was rope me into her mess. I didn't really get to do much of anything I wanted to do and I was treated like the bad guy for wanting to just go to an art gallery. I'm a grown man. I deserve my own vacation too. Now my sister is not speaking to me and my parents are still trying to convince me to just ride with them to keep the peace. I'm still refusing. But the pressure is getting to me. AITA for not giving in. It's been an hour since I posted, but my sister is apparently a Reddit lurker in the mornings, and she saw my post. Not only is she furious with me, but she is also upset no one in the comments is siding with her. To make it short, she went on a big rant about how it's so hard to be a parent to triplets. And the least I could do is help because I am young and single, and she needs a break. I stood my ground on my decision, and now she's calling her parents to get them involved. I'm expecting a call from them any minute. Update. I guess you could say it's over. My sister got her parents involved. They looked at my post and were absolutely horrified by the Continuous influx of commenters. Yes, they are very angry with me that I posted this. But I told them that if they would just listen to me to begin with, I would have never needed to. I'm sick of the whole keep the peace mentality that sacrifices me to, to placate my sister. They in turn went off on my sister and to make a long story short, the whole vacation has been cancelled. The hotel was not booked yet anyway, but my parents are arguing with my sister. My sister is blaming me and my nephews are crying because they are not going to the beach. My sister called me at lunch and basically implied I have no life, which is why I have time to help. I recorded that and told her parents, and that's currently what they are fighting about. I was not going to update again, but here is a little more. Parents said that they won't ever push babysitting of my nephews on me again and have agreed that what happened last year was unfair to me. 
Right now, they are very angry with my sister for telling me I should help her because she thinks I have no life. My sister is playing the victim.